and there was a lot of trial and error in the beginning and still is <laughs> it is a continuous process of of learning and developing and just like finding out what works what doesn't um uh, so in the beginning it was more about documentary photography and and journalism along with that so like trying to give a voice to people and trying to raise awareness um in Europe and and in the Americas as well which was um it was a very interesting project. I loved doing it and I, I loved the people who I got to meet through this. But unfortunately, uh, it was unsustainable for me. Uh, there was just a, a, a huge amount of human suffering that I, I got to witness uh, day after day after day that just became too much to bear. And I also felt that as an independent a documentary photographer, I wasn't able to make the impact I wanted to affect with my work. So I was taking in more than I could actually bear. And I there was no no release really because I I felt that um yeah it's it it's something that's probably works best through an organization. So when COVID came, that's that's when this project ended, and um, I I felt that it it was the right time to just take a step back from it. I was also dealing with a, a pretty serious burnout <laughs> from from this work, so it it was the perfect opportunity to just go back to my family in Transylvania and and clear my mind and see what comes. And that was the moment when the idea of the Camino came up for me. It's something that I've I've heard about for a, for like a long time. I've met people who've done it and it's always been in the back of my mind. Like one day I'll do this and it's like a bucket list item. And um, during the pandemic, I, I felt towards the end of the pandemic that this, this is the moment 